Welcome to today's session on SOMAS solution. Today we are going to talk about cells. Cells. Mostly when we talk about cells, or mostly when we hear cells, what comes into mind is the radical sign or the, the root symbol. An expression like this is pronounced as the mth root of E. The mth root of E. Where n is the order. Yes, n is the order of the root. And then the symbol is the radical sign. And then the E under the root is called the radicand. For example, if you have the cube root of 8 or the third root of 8, the 3 over here is the other, then the 8 is what? The radicand. The 3 is the other, and the 8 is the radicand. Remember, this is different from 3 root 8. 3 root 8 is written like this. 3 root 8. The 3 is in front of the what? The root sign. Alright. And then this one is the fourth root of 11. 4 is the order. And then the 11 is what? The radical. This is also different from what? 4 root 11. Remember that. And then this is the square root of 9. The order is 2. And this is basically written as what? Root 9 without a square. Because that's what we've been using in our calculations normally. Alright. So when we talk about sets, what comes to our mind is the radical sign or the square root sign. But it's not every number that is having a radical sign that is a set. No, that is not true. Let's look at these numbers. If you have the square root of 4, the square root of 9, the square root of 25, and all these numbers, square root of 4 can simplify to give you what? 2. The square root of 9, likewise, simplifies to 3. 3 is what? A rational number. What about the square root of 25? The square root of 25 gives you what? 5. And 5 is what? A rational number. And then the square root of 3. The square root of 3, on the other hand, is giving you some string of numbers. 1.732050. In fact, it continues to infinity. It never ends. You remember in the previous session, we talked about irrational numbers which are non-terminating and then what not recurring root 3 is non-terminating and then not recurring so it's what an irrational number root 25 root 9 then root 4 are what rational numbers root 7 also is giving you a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal and so it's also an irrational number this one is also an irrational number the cube root of 6 or the third root of 6 is also an irrational number and so you can see that it's not every number that is having the square root sign that is what an irrational number and so roots that can be simplified to get a whole number or roots that can be simplified to get an exact value like this are what rational numbers on the other hand roots that cannot be simplified to get an exact value or roots that cannot be reduced to a whole number are what irrational numbers and so numbers in this category are what we generally refer to as sets roots that cannot be simplified to get an exact value or roots that cannot be reduced to a whole number are what we generally refer to as what sets all right so in your own words post the video and then write in your own words what are sets Alright, sets are positive roots which does not have exact numerical values. So the rational numbers we talked about over here, root 4 it gives you an exact value, root 9 it simplifies to an exact value, root 25 it simplifies to an exact value. But root 3 on the other hand does not give you an exact value and so it's a set. Root 7 does not give you an exact value, it's also a set. This one is also a set. Alright, you can list some other examples. Someone can see sets are positive roots which cannot be simplified to get a whole number. The same thing. If you like, pick your calculator and punch the square root of any positive number. If it's giving you a whole number or if it's giving you an exact value, it's not a set. But if it's not giving you an exact value like these numbers, then it means it is said. Alright. Not all irrational numbers are sets. Not 
all irrational numbers are sets. You have to take note of that. All these are irrational numbers, but it's only those with a radical sign that are sets. All these other ones, e and then pi, are not sets. E and pi are not sets. Please like and share my videos, and don't forget to subscribe.